Hey everybody, and welcome to Ball Pit, the only show on the internet that... Ah! What was that? That was the intro. What? I had things to talk about! What's stopping you? Just talk about you it. can't stop me! I don't want to tell you anymore! What was that? That was our intro. It was fun. That was an awful intro! I had a huge break today! Just tell me your bit. What, what, what do you got? What, 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 do you, what do you bring to the pit? The only reason I'm telling you this is because I figured it out. I finally cracked the code. Okay. You familiar with Papa John's? Uh, pizza maker, yes. Oh, he's a bit more than a pizza maker, Mr. Alex. Papa John's has a secret. Papa John's is not who he says he is. Okay. Are you familiar with the actor Mark Ruffalo? Famous? Yeah, absolutely. He's the, Hulk, the Hulk. He's a Hulk. He's probably in other movies. Uh, he was in. Uh, he was in Spotlight. He's a good actor, right? Yes, You'd say yes. he's a good actor. That's exactly the thing. Papa John's is really just Mark Ruffalo when he's drunk. That is dumb. Oh, is it? Yes. Let me show you some of my evidence that I've collected over the years. Years. Take a look at this image here. Now you see, Mr. Papa John. Drunk. At a Louisville game. This image has been circling around, and this was my first tip-off. That he's really someone in disguise. So you see, Mr. John was getting a little crazy at his Louisville event. Letting loose, if you will. Yes. All that proves is that Papa John likes to party now and again. It and who no doesn't? Point. And who doesn't? Or, every time Mark Ruffalo drinks, he becomes Papa John. Yeah, hold it in. Hold in the knowledge. So, but would he have built a whole company? I mean, does he, does he really know anything about making pizzas? I guess that's what I don't... <laughs> You know nothing of Mark Ruffalo and his history as an actor, do you? I, I mean, I've never read his Wikipedia page, if that's what you're asking. Oh, you won't find this information on Wikipedia. The truth of Mark Ruffalo, he started out as a young actor in acting school, right? Yes. Gotta make money in acting school, right? Yeah. What Mark used to do is he'd make pizzas at these parties, because he was pretty good at making pizzas. So he decided to charge money to the party goers, right? Fair. What he didn't know was that the alcohol and pizza were becoming synonymous. He was building a small empire, but based on the fuel that is alcohol, and it was changing him, changing him into a new man, Papa John's. Take a look at these photos right here. Do these men look alike, Alex? I mean, they both have kind of curly Hair. Curly hair. Look at their eyes. Look at their eyes. Yeah, I guess they're both kind of similar. Mm -hmm. Now you might be saying, oh, Mark Ruffalo looks a little bit older. There's some key differences. But what is Mark Ruffalo's profession? Again, Alex? Well, he's an actor. Oh, an actor. An actor's play what, Alex? Characters. Characters! Characters! Papa John is nothing but a character. But a character that is fueled with alcohol. Do you understand? I guess I would just need some... I, I, I don't buy it. I think I need proof that, Papa jo that Mark Ruffalo sort of imbibes in a way that makes cooking viable. Do you think Mark Ruffalo even cooks? Well, I'm sure he does uh, from time to time, but realistically, he's an actor. He's, he's on set a lot. He probably has a lot of catering done for him. Oh! Take a look at this, Alex. What do you see here? Well, I see Mark Ruffalo cooking, but it's not pizza. It looks like he's frying bacon or something. Take a look at his face. Any cook will tell you that that's the face of a culinary genius so focused in his work that it's been like cooking was part of his life the whole time. Do you think that's a man who just acts? You can't take that kind of passion and just fake it. Right, but it's not pizza. <laughs> Not pizza, right? Huh? Silly me! I would, I would have no evidence if there was nothing like pizza. Take a look at this pizza. 
Okay. What's Mr. Ruffalo making? Something with sauce and dough. Sauce and dough. And what ingredients do those normally uh, become? They make pizza. They make pizza. They make pizza. No, you see, Alex, I know what you're going to say, but I took it a step further. I had our computer enlarge and enhance this image. Take a look at what's in the background. Uh, those look like empty wine glasses. Oh my god. This charade has gone on too long. I'm taking it to the streets! Roll the sponsor! Uh, can you, can you just turn on the radio? Turn, turn it down. This episode is brought to you by Radio. Radio, turn it up. Boy, I'm glad we turned it up. But I gotta say, we also turned it up in our next bit. We did a little bit of trivia that certainly had some stakes. Hey guys, we're here doing some trivia. Uh, what we're doing today is uh, we're doing retro games, Pat. Oh yeah, retro games, baby. But we're putting a few stakes on it. Um, Pat has the ability to give me a little uh, electric shock. I'm hooked up by my wrists here, so that's going to be my punishment if I get it wrong. All right, and I, I made sure I, I turned up the, the the power with these questions. All right. So these are going to be good. Um, yeah. Let's uh, standard A, B, C, D format. Okay. Pretty easy, multiple choice. Okay. Um, all right, let's go into the first question. Got it. The first uh, video game in space was what? A, Tetris? B, Super Mario Brothers? C, Galaga? Or D, No Man's Sky? That's definitely not No Man's Sky. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> bought that game. <laughs> All right. um, uh, it's probably Tetris. Whoa, got oh, it right. yeah. No shock. No, no shock, shock yet. for me. I love not it. Not yet, man. All right, give me number two. Um, all right. Uh, question number two. The voice of Princess Peach also voices who in Halo? Uh, so we have Cortana, Miranda Keys, Dr. Halsey, or D, Siri. <laughs> Siri. Uh, you trying to give me... Uh, ma major keys was it? B. I'll go B. Ooh, oof! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oof. No, so that was invigorating. The actual answer was Cortana. Uh, what, do, what do you go? Uh, so Jen Taylor vo voices both Cortana, Princess Peach, and even some Toad. Oh, pretty cool. Um, so let's, uh, let's go on to the next question here. All right. All right. Uh, so the next question is: so Tetris with an estimated. 495 million copies sold and downloaded is the best-selling cross-platform game. But, what's the best-selling Nintendo exclusive? A. Duck Hunt B. Super Mario Brothers C. Wii Sports or D. Sonic the Hedgehog Uh, okay, it's, well, it's not Sonic, obviously. He's the Sega mascot. <laughs> yeah, a little, little trick in um, there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's gotta be Mario, right? Because Mario sold everything. Uh-oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah! All right. Ah! Ah, come on. What's wrong? Yeah, no, no, nothing. It was a little... Ow. That lingered a little bit. That's fine. All right, all right. Fine. Fine. Well, fine. Moving on, right, moving yeah, on. Go. Okay, okay, okay. So the next question. What was the first NES game to use the Konami code? Oh, no. Uh, was it A, Contra? B, Life Force? C, Gradius? Or D, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? Yo, I don't, I don't know those games, man. I don't know. I'm not a big Konami guy. Um... I don't remember. Can you, can you give me one more time real quick? Okay, okay. A, Contra, B, Life Force, C, Gradius, or D, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? Um, Life Force. I don't know. Uh-oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You good? You good? Like, you need, you want, like, can, we, can, we, can we take a break? Can we, can we get, like, Alex a break? Quick, like, five-minute break? Continue the video. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. Next question. Right, yeah, let's, let's go. Going. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, Donkey Kong at first was meant to feature Mario and the gang. Mm -hmm. What old cartoon character was meant to be the original Jumpman? Was it A, Gumby, B, Popeye, C, He-Man, or D, uh, the, the wrong answer? Oh, I know this one, because because uh, instead of mushrooms, it was it was spinach, so it's Popeye. Oh, we got it right. Yeah. That's it. Nice, nice, good. All right, uh, got a little got a little fun one for a little history here. 
1974, an unkept, sandal-clad hippie walked into Atari's lobby and demanded a job, and he would not leave until he got one. So, they were going to call the police, but instead, Al Alcorn came down and gave that hippie a job. Who was that hippie? Was it A, Mr. Miyamoto, B, Steve Jobs, C, Bill Gates, or D, it's seriously, don't pick D, it's not right. Miyamoto's in Japan. Steve Jobs. Steve, I know Steve Jobs developed something computer-related before Bill Gates. So I, I, my guess is going to be that Bill Gates didn't is the right answer because Steve Jobs was working at a real job before Bill Gates. Uh, uh, no, uh, no, mate, no. Uh, just hey, man. I, mean, I don't Gates, need I think it's Bill Gates. Oh! oh! Hey. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Uh, ah, ah, um, next quest, next, <coughs> next question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. Yeah. Um, what two video games had a special scratch and sniff disc, like a CD, you know? Okay. Uh, was it A, Gran Turismo and FIFA, B, Tomb Raider and Twisted Metal, C, Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, or... D, for health reasons and safety, please do not pick D. Uh, give me that new car smell, Gran Turismo. Yes! 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 Oh, oh, no! Oh, 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 no, that was, that was right. Oh, that was right. Uh, yo, uh, ow. Uh, are you good? God. That was my, are you good? Um, I don't know. I, are, are you good? What's, can we, is it like, is that safe tested, man? Um. Well, no, I, I made it myself. As I mean, is that is this? Did we test this? Is this safe? Pain is profit. <sighs> yeah, I mean, you heard him. You know, it's okay. all right. I'm sure it's fine. It's not like a. It's, I mean, it's safe. Probably. Okay. All right. Um, got another question. Uh, okay. Another question. Who was the uh, female character in Donkey Kong? Uh, was it, it was Peach? A obviously, because it's Mario and stuff. I'm not Peach. <laughs> Are you good? You good, man? You good? Uh, yo, yo, alright, we, we gotta stop the bit. Can we just stop the bit? Do not stop. He can barely stand up! What are you, we can't continue this stuff! Think of reviews. Think of the subscribers. If you want ad revenue, you must move forward with the task. He might die! Oh. Well, then we'll be trending on the front page. You know what, he's got a point. All right, no, trap in, Alex. No. No! Police the truth! Mark Ruffalo was really Papa John when he was drunk. We all know it. What do we want? Papa John's released a confirmed statement saying that he is actually Mark Ruffalo when he's drunk. When do we want it? Right now. That'd be pretty good. Mark Ruffalo! Come on out and tell us the truth. We want to know it. We know you're Mark Ruffalo. Papa John, we want a statement that you're Mark Ruffalo when you're drinking. We know the truth. Who do we want? Mark Ruffalo to release a statement that he's actually Papa John when he's drinking. When do we want it? Now. Mark Ruffalo, tell us the truth. 